he actually put down money for the Tesla Semi when it was first announced. But he got tired of waiting. So he started a company called Edison. He designed and built his own um, semi truck. So this dude was so impatient on his Tesla truck that he just created his own car yeah. brand. I realize that every time I look at you, my vision of the camera is blocked. People would be lucky to see your eyes. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. Yeah, that's kind of in a bad spot. It's fine. You we can put it back to the other, si other side. No, no. It's good. It's uh it's reminds me of Wayne's world, you know, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera one, camera two, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. <laughs> well, welcome to break check, everybody. Welcome to the show. <laughs> What's up, man? What are we talking about today? <laughs> yeah, if you haven't noticed, it is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I'm not in green. It's tomorrow. It's it okay. is tomorrow. I'm safe. Yes, I'm you're safe, safe today. I am ready because I'm psyched because it is like March Madness started, right? And I love college basketball. I had no These idea. These two don't. I had no idea I was that was ask, I was going to ask if it was basketball because I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. It's soccer season. Yay! I am pulling for. Who do you think? Mm. Don't look at the. Okay, you. <laughs> Your yes, hat. right. <laughs> your, your hat, hat was still. <laughs> well, yeah, but I was looking. I was trying yeah. to cover words. Uh, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Can't can pull for the dodo birds. Yes, I'm a fan, but it still looks like a dodo bird. It kind of does. Look it like kind of does look like a dodo bird. You can't deny it. Just embrace it. If the ice age is gonna push us under the underground for a million yeah. billion years. <laughs> so you got three melons. <laughs> <laughs> if you were prepared, the doom on you. Yeah. <laughs> doom on you. <laughs> Doom on I you. I love Ice Age. That should be the KU chant. At the <laughs> Doom on you. Yeah. That would be awesome, actually. <laughs> Doom on you. I'm going to see if I can go to a game and get that started. They're like, the other team's losing, and so that's when the KU team's like, Doom on you. Yeah. Right now what they do is, it like, when a game is clearly won at the end, the entire crowd starts doing this real slow, um, KU, like rock, chuck. But it's, it's supposed to be like this, dooming ambiance but it just comes off like people who were sad <laughs> either sad or depressed old or <laughs> yeah or like they're stuck in a trance and they're just like saying this mantra that's just say doom on you <laughs> yeah, yeah doom on doom you would on be better you. Dude, i like that i'm see if i can change the change the culture that's there. been around for hundreds of years there you go <laughs> well in the honor of uh our Ireland brethren. Oh, I, Ireland brotherland. I, I, Ireland I, bro, I, brother, I, Ireland brotherland. Ireland brotherland. Oh, I. Oh. He's already drunk. What can I say? <laughs> oh, He's God. in the really in the spirit of Ireland. Yeah. Well, did you know that in Northern Ireland they use miles per hour in their vehicles? No. But did you also know? <laughs> Only in Northern Ireland. Only in Northern Ireland because. The Republic of Ireland uses kilometers. So wait, 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 wait. So is the Republic of Ireland the southern portion of Ireland? I believe so, but it says... Or is that like the government and they're sort of rebelling? They're like, not me. Well, this is from Ireland.com. I don't oh. know if that's their official not, website. Not <laughs> Ireland.gov? Not Ireland no, dot .com. <laughs> um. Is this like a Wikipedia for Ireland? I, maybe. Anybody can edit Maybe. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be like spewing stuff, like saying stuff to the I camera, did. and people are gonna be like, "That's not what we do, do we have here any, in Ireland." Do we have any subscribers in Ireland? Mm. I. I we, we have we, some. We have one over, in Russia. We do have one in in yeah. Russia. In Russia, you don't watch YouTube. Russia. YouTube watch you. Yeah. <laughs> we have some in the UK. That's true. Um, I don't know about Ireland. We're a worldwide, right? <laughs> we have spread across the globe. Right. Check Yay. international. Yay. <laughs> I have an ancestor who's Irish. Oh, oh, you should get them to subscribe. I have a tattoo. They? They're dead. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, if dead people can vote, dead people can subscribe. That's right? true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. I have, an, Maybe I have I'll a tattoo with him. Celtic knots on it. Mm. So there's, uh -oh. like, I'm permanently marked with. I mean, you have red hair. Uh huh. We have, red beard. Uh, like, we're, we're kind of mutts in the cultural world. We have so many different ethnicities. And our right. blood and our genetics. Right. So they use miles per hour in northern, according to 
this possibly I, official unofficial website for I, the yeah. of com. Ireland. <laughs> there, I did. I was doing uh, research, googling. I did find another website. I don't remember which one it was. I did find another one that said the same thing. So, okay. So wait. I'm gonna go with it. Wait, and, what was the other website though? I don't remember. Oh. We're not here for facts. We're here for intern internetainment. <laughs> Your sources are for. so bad. <laughs> hey, you know, like we're not a we're not a journalist <laughs> show. <laughs> tell Trip, me, tell me one episode Trip, of Top Gear or Grand Tour where they're like, that that's wrong, and then they cared. <laughs> <laughs> I they mean, said so much wrong stuff. I mean, they do a lot of real real stuff and good yeah. stuff. Yeah. But like so much of their episode is just them being a goofy, opinionated weirdo. There, there were so many times that like a car would have like 580 horsepower or like 583 horsepower, and you would hear one of the guys go, "As near as makes no difference, 600 horsepower." Yeah, <laughs> 583. No, 600. Yeah, near as makes no difference, yeah. 600. <laughs> Let's round it up. Yeah, yeah, you always round up in horsepower. Hmm. All of it, always. always. I wonder how much horsepower I would get if I put C4 in the tank. 1,038. Wow, that 1100. was really specific. Huh? 1,100. Stop, oh, stop with 1,038. 1,100. 1,100. <laughs> Bro. Sorry. I have yet to learn my lesson. Who do you think we are? <laughs> so, would you like to know the most popular cars in Ireland? Tuk Tuk. I hope. No, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... Even, even drunk, they don't buy the Tuk Tuk. <laughs> Is it a European only brand? Uh no. Well Is it an no. Ameri- is it a brand that we can it's, buy in the States? Yeah, all all f- five of the Ireland's overall best selling cars you can buy here. Oh. Toyota. Uh two of them are. Really? Two yeah. of the five? Yeah, two of the five. Honda. Jen, Jen your turn. Honda. Which no is- no Hondas. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I but win, hey, baby. Toyota. <laughs> Toyota's there at least. Toyota is there. The number one most popular car in Ireland in 2023, according to AIG.ie, it's the Prius. is the Mm-mm. Hyundai uh, <laughs> Tucson. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. That was the, that's the number one. At least number one on this list. <laughs> you know, do you ever feel bad for <laughs> words that have silent letters? Do you feel bad for those letters? Like pterodactyl? Yeah. Like, like that letter has an identity. It's a letter. Like, I know. Yeah. Stop ignoring it. Poor like letters. the Hyundai, you know, Tucson. It's a Tucson. There's a C <laughs> in that word. Tucson. I see you. I see you, C. So much of our childhoods had Sesame Street where they devoted a portion of the episode to a letter. That's true. Like, bring awareness to these silent letters. Pterodactyl. <laughs> Opossum. Vacuum. <laughs> There's two U's in vacuum. <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Fafa. Yeah. Liberate Dunham. the letters. <laughs> We're good at words. We need to start liberating the letters. Aww. Yeah. We must support the words that we're good at. Yep. So the the Hyundai AI Tuxen <laughs> is the number one in Ireland. Yes. Northern Ireland. It just, says, all of Ireland. It just says Ireland. In right. Ireland overall. Ireland. So. land. There's an E in there. Oh, <laughs> the number two is the Toyota Corolla. Yeah. <laughs> Corolla la. No. <laughs> but it does, they already say the, the two L's, Corolla. Yeah, but you could also make that same sound with one L. And roll is two L's anyways. Roll la la. Roll la la. Roll a. Corolla a. Corolla la. Well, number three is the Toyota Yaris. <gasps> there you go. There you go. Really? Isn't, that one's not electric, is it? Yaris? No, I don't is think it a hybrid, is or is it just like a three, like a Geo of the Toyota? I think it's just a small ice car. So, number four, the Kia Sportage. Oh, Kia, huh? K- 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 Kia, <laughs> a K- Korean cars in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then number five is the Volkswagen ID.4. Oh, Ooh. Volkswagen. Yes, German. Yeah. 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 So there's a. Uh, <laughs> That was all the interesting facts I had about Ireland. Really? Damn it. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yeah, you I thought know. you had so much more about Ireland. Like no. you were... It's like you looked these up last night. I looked them up a few days ago, actually, but oh, it's been busy. Good. But it's been busy since <laughs> a few days ago and today. <laughs> hmm. So, yay, Ireland. <laughs> Ireland. 
<laughs> did did St. Patrick's Day originate in Ireland? I don't know. Let's look it up on Ireland.com. <laughs> <laughs> see. Where, um, I'm, I'm wondering. I don't actually know. What do you even? What's the history of St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. Is that the day that Lucky Charms was founded on March 17th? You know you what know else happens in March? Huh? That we. You know what else happens in March that obvi- often gets overlooked because he's not a fan of it. March Madness. Uh, your husband's birthday. Oh, we just passed what? his birthday. Happy birthday, Jason! Happy belated I don't, birthday. Justice for you. This was, this was over a week ago. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it just passed. I, I mean, and I appreciate always, it. You always try Thank to you. ignore it. I do. I, I don't like my birthday. It's just a day. <laughs> I, there was one time he and I drove trucks at the same company, and I got to work before him one day because I had to leave earlier. Oh yeah. And I filled his truck with signage all throughout the windows. <laughs> It's my birthday. Honk for my birthday. It's oh, great. I disagree. It was not great. I have photos. I had to I had to remove it before I could leave. He didn't have to. Safety hazards. You have to see out your window. No. <laughs> I didn't I didn't block his views that badly. No. That badly. Did you hear that? That badly. That badly that it would require removal. It but blocking vision in a semi truck is a bad idea. Do you have anything in like hanging from anywhere in your truck right now? No. So you're you're completely for complete vision, like no blocked vision, nothing like that. Preferably, yeah. Oh, how's that shamrock <laughs> working for you? <laughs> <laughs> this is a special occasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> while driving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not while walking, <laughs> just while driving. Point, okay. Point for Richard. <laughs> <laughs> That, that that's you that what you set me up. I don't like it. <laughs> Not your birthday anymore, bro. <laughs> well, for the record, St. Patrick's Day is a f- is the feast day of St. Patrick, a Patreon saint of Ireland, originally celebrated with religious feasts and services. St. Patrick's Day became a sp- <laughs> became a mm. celebration of Irish culture when it reached the United States alongside Irish immigrants. Oh. So it was it originally come from Ireland, according to Google. Uh yeah, so <laughs> is that all we have? Is that all we have for no, today? I, I have a second topic, oh. but I didn't know if Richard had one. I didn't want to I've got steal a conspiracy the show. cafe topic. Ooh, conspiracy cafe. Mm-hmm. Shall conspiracy cafe. Shall I shall we make it cafe like in here? We could. How? We could. Oh, oh, you just wait. Watch Jay- as he says that, oh, and then you watch the next episode, like nothing happens. You, you just wait. You want to you want to see this happen? Look, he's been working on this. You don't know. You I were have. gone last week. I have. Douche, douche. Are you serious? Do, 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 do. That's it. Hey, what hey, do you mean that's, that's, that's it? it? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's like it's like we're under an old fashioned wow. street lamp. <laughs> Mad props, bro. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Like we're under an old-fashioned street lamp. I didn't bring my my conspiracy hat though. I forgot that. Yeah, I don't have one either. We I have a shamrock. I have a uh, what are those old hats from? Um, it's like the like the clamshell kind of shape. What are they like? A, what are they called? They're big oh, like in, the newspaper. Yeah, they're oh, big newsies. in the twenties, like the newsies like, kind of hats. Oh, I forget what they're called. I don't remember either. I just mind blanked. Yeah, um, like Peaky Blinders, the hats they wear in that show. Yeah. Um, but I have one of those. I could. I'm gonna bring that. It'll be my conspiracy hat. Oh, which by the way, before we get into this. Congratulations to us! Your our reaction video, your reaction video has oh? over a thousand views. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like tw- it's like one point two k. Yeah, that's <laughs> like our one- first video over a thousand. Like I know these are small, but these are like milestones when you're trying to start a show. Yeah, Heck huge. Yeah. Like yeah, every single subscriber and every single like view that we get, we're like super excited because it's just yeah, you know, we're we're building this from basically nothing, so it's just it's super awesome. Yeah, mm. fun. Um, okay, so okay, ready. here we go. Okay, everybody, <clears throat> get real, real serious. Real serious. Are we ready for this? Have you ever heard of Mel's Hole? I'm s- I'm scared. Mel's Hole has nothing to do I don't with want anatomy. To talk about okay. Oh. Okay. I saw the look in your eyes. Relieved. Relieved. <laughs> so there is a in, this came about in 1997. Okay. A guy who got called into a radio show called Coast to Coast. Okay. In 97. Identified himself as Mel Walters. He bought a plot of land. It's like 25 or 30 some acres 
in the state of Washington. And while he was there, one day he was kind of going around his property and he found this nine and a half foot in diameter hole in the ground. Okay. Just a hole. Nine and a half? Nine and a half feet. Did he measure it? Yeah, it's been measured. (laughs) Wow. So he finds this hole and uh, he can't see the bottom of it. He, there's nothing in it. It's just a dark hole. Okay. And so he starts asking around different neighbors and nearby farms and nearby properties. And he's like, hey, what's with this hole that I found on my property? And they're like, oh, yeah, the previous owners, like, they would throw trash into it. We would have, you know, get-togethers, and we'd try to throw stuff into it to find the bottom of it. When we would have, like, dead um, cows from our farms, we would toss them into it. Yeah, and what? nothing ever hit the bottom. So Mel is a big like deep sea fisherman, and okay. he has you know his rig for deep sea fishing. He had like fifteen hundred yards of fishing line, so he takes his rig out there on the back of a truck, and he puts like a heavy weight at one end of the of the line, and he just drops it in the hole. Goes the entire length of the line, never hits bottom. What the heck? It's like a ends super up, sinkhole. Ends up buying more and more and more line. It's like eight. 80,000 feet is what he eventually got. <gasps> Never hit the bottom. What? Wow. Never hit the bottom. Yeah. So it gets, it gets so much crazier than this. So okay. He, uh, so he eventually, he's like throwing stuff, throwing stuff down. Nothing ever hits the bottom. He's throwing like those big old CRT, like the big tube TVs that explode, make a lot of sound. Nothing ever happens. There's been, no. there was reports before that he, when he was talking to people, about they would see like a large black cylinder of light shooting up from this hole in wait, the past. What? A, wait, a black cylinder of light? Yeah, like you could see like black light kind of thing. Like, like well, that, purple? Like, they, like you would purple. see, so you would see, yeah. So you would see like the night sky. Uh huh. And then be a darker cylinder shooting up, like darker than the night sky, like darker black. So that would be, up from it. technically, that'd be an absence of light. Yeah, an absence of light. A sil- an absence of cylinder light. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I'm ruining the conspiracy so, by being no, technical. No, no, no. Jeez, Jason. <laughs> so he leaves, right? Uh-huh. This is he's like this is just a weird thing on his property. Yeah. A year or so later, when he's going back around doing his rounds on his property, I don't know what he's doing, but he goes back and he's driving down the road to get to this hole. Okay. And the road is blocked off by <laughs> what he says were military personnel. And they said, Sir, you can't come down this road. There's a plane crash. And he goes, this is my property. Yeah. I said, well, if you go, if you attempt to go down your property, you're going to be arrested and thrown into prison. Has not been back to the hole since. There is so much around this, but ultimately, him and his wife, over this hole, he gets so obsessed with this hole, he and his wife divorce. Huh. Yeah. Um, he I ends up obsessed right with him. Right. Yeah. He, he ends up um, getting an offer from the U.S. government they said, we will pay you $250,000 a month to not live on this property. What? He gets two fifty dollars a month, two fifty k a month. He ends up moving to Australia, and for reasons that I don't know, starts a wombat rescue mission <laughs> in Australia. He's running this mission. Yeah. Okay. He comes back because he wants to make it back to the, to the hole. He comes back, and he's trying to... You can even, like, if you try to find... It's in the city is... Ellensburg, Washington. So if you try to find this location, like his whole property, not just where the hole is, on Google Maps, Google View, anything, satellite imagery, right? the whole property is blacked out. <gasps> have you, you can't even look, look on it. Have you what? actually looked to see if that's, if you can? Like, uh, not up. recently. I looked last week. I couldn't find it. I'm going to look at really? Mel's hole. And so he, uh, so he tries to go back uh-huh. and... Some I can't remember exactly what happened, but something happened where he was trying to make it back on the property, and the government like stopped paying him all this money, and his then his bank account completely went empty, <gasps> like <laughs> this crazy what? thing. And then there was another story regarding the same Mel's hole. I think it was either this hole or another one, like a similar one on the somewhere else on the on the globe, um, or on the Earth if you believe flat Earth or round Earth. It's a conspiracy cafe. Mm. Sure. Somewhere on the earth, there's another hole similar to this where I think it was in Arizona or, or Texas where somebody contacted him said, hey, we have a hole like this. 
And one of us had a dog who died, and they threw the dog into the hole. <laughs> they, yeah, so like so instead of burying their animals, right. because they all had the same experience. As They're like, well, Mel, this is convenient. As Woo. Mel's hole. Yeah. yeah. So they said they threw their, their deceased dog into the hole Kay. instead of burying it. And like a few days later, that exact same dog showed up alive on the person's porch. What? <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, there is so much weirdness. So it's pet cemetery hole. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> what? Yeah, and then there was more something about, um, and I didn't get this far into it, but I just saw like there was these uh, connect where it was they would put stuff down there that had like ice, like they would put ice cubes down in in a bucket. Okay. Because the temperature is supposed to be so hot right. deep into the core, and ice would come up still intact, frozen ice. <laughs> there's interesting yeah mel's hole mel Wal walters so are we uh are we gonna leave conspiracy cafe now yeah i'm full okay i've had a good meal jen i'm still looking up that hole <laughs> what is that hole she, she wants dessert <laughs> yeah uh, where is it oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I think we're going to leave Conspiracy Cafe. Yeah. Jen can stay if she likes. Well, I okay. want to give credit. So I first heard about this. Like, I didn't come across this on the internet. I want to give credit where credit is due. I first heard about this on another podcast that I listened to called Ninjas Are Butterflies, which is an amazing podcast. If you want to go listen to something that's, like, got tons of conspiracy, but it's really, really funny at the same time, Ninjas Are Butterflies. But, yeah, that's where I heard about Mel's Hole, and then I, I was like, I, I got to look at this, like Jen's doing. I'm like, uh, uh. That's yeah. why I like stuff like the SCP universe so much. I mean, it's not real. It's not real, but like That's the story. what they want you to think. That's what they want. Yes. That's true. It's government. Control. They're controlling us through colors. They're controlling. They're watching us through birds. And, and bugs. they're spying on us through pandas. I guess well, we can leave the cafe then. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave the cafe. We'll go back to, uh, to Ireland. Oh, Why do you say island? Like I, you're island. from the south, like, uh, like a southern belle. I'm not good island. at accents. <laughs> Me um, and Bo if we, regard about if the we vacation ever try to do, island. <laughs> if we ever try to do a skit, uh, it's going to be terrible. I apologize, <laughs> Jason. We're going to make him the Irish guy. We're so that he has to do that accent the whole time. Yo, every, everyone, will, everyone will comment. Why was his Irish accent like 50 different accents? <laughs> you know an accent you do really good, huh? Is um, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. <laughs> uh, Bro. Bruh. But you do a really good uh Vincini from Princess Bride. Oh. Let's not inform them of where that of that. We've already talked about it. Like months yeah. ago we talked about But we don't need to talk about it again. <laughs> I mean we could even Jen does have access to editing and she is familiar with the video in which we are discussing. So we could easily just sort of like put it in this area right here while we're just talking about it. it. Doesn't have to have sound, but like just to show what we're talking. I mean, we gotta give our viewers some relation. You don't need to see that. Yeah, maybe we can put a link below to go see the video. No, no, if you we don't see need the to... whole thing in its entirety. No, you don't need to see that. Either. I think they do. Oh, Nerd Raj is gonna be blasted with a whole bunch of views. <laughs> Yeah, 40, yeah, 49 of them. 49 views. 49 views. <laughs> They'll be like, where did these 49 views come from? <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. We're back, in, back in business. <laughs> right? It's like in Jurassic Park, Mr. Hammond, we're back in business. <laughs> and then the raptor. It kills him. Oh, geez. Well, I did have one other thing that I wanted to talk about. I was okay. super excited when I heard about this. Were you how excited? Super excited. Okay, okay. Super Irish excited. excited. Oh, I wish you would tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, we've talked about it the past couple of weeks about how like um, plug-in hybrids are similar to trains. Ugh. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, we can't escape this electric hybrid no, thing. No, we can't. I mean, the whole industry is kind of trying to go that this way. This is so. the Mel's hole of our podcast. <laughs> is what this is. <laughs> it's never ending EV stuff. Yeah. Um. But this, so have you heard of Edison? Like Thomas Edison? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I would hope so. Who's he, that? I do, have a, was a I do have a high school diploma. I've heard of Thomas Edison. <laughs> nice, but you went to East High, right? <laughs> yeah, so did you. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Dude, hey, they have a good theater of, program. They have a good theater little, program. They do have a good theater yeah. program. Quick little rabbit trail. Uh, 
One of my stepkids went to a different high school in the area, um, uh-huh. came home and bragged about li- learning about World War II, and said, oh, Hitler, pretty bad dude, right? And he goes, who's that? Are you serious? I like I said, dude, how did you learn about World War II and you don't know the name Hitler? He's like, I don't know. We didn't talk about it. Oh, I was like, no. were you not paying attention? I think you weren't and paying like, attention. And he's like, no, I, I was. Same, yeah. So, what? so I was like, well, maybe they just like, like intro to World War II before America got involved, before Pearl, are we pre Pearl Harbor kind of thing? Uh, he, keep asking. He's him. like, no, no, we talked about all of it, the Holocaust and all that. What? Like, wait, how do you wait, talk do you, about the Holocaust yeah. and not learn about Hitler? You can't erase history. Like, people yes, are you trying. can. Cornucopia. <laughs> That's true. Of the loom. That's do we have to go back to the cafe? Okay, you shouldn't erase history. It's important knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Rabbit trail. <laughs> Over. Anywho, what was so, the hybrid? Blah, blah, blah. Um, Edison obviously was a rival to um, Tesla. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a company. Wait, who's Tesla? Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about. I him. never heard about Tesla. Yeah, we don't talk about him. We don't talk oh. about Tesla. We don't talk about Tesla. Um, there, there's a, a guy who is a. He's in Canada. He's a. I believe he's a logger. He drives like trucks for logging trucks. He actually put down money for the Tesla Semi when it was first announced, um, but he got tired of waiting, so he started a company called Edison, um, Edison Motors to be specific, um, and. He designed and built his own um, semi truck, mm. um, but he did it um, similar to a locomotive. He has a diesel generator that powers the electric motors on the axles. Um, so, in December 2021, the Edison Motors was announced to the public, and <laughs> by the time it got to November 2023, um, Edison Motors sold their first production truck. In when? When in 23? Whoa. Uh, November, November, November of twenty three, uh, and they started. They announced Edison Motors in December twenty one. Really? Wow. So now it's not. So this dude was so impatient on his Tesla <laughs> truck that he just created his own car yeah. brand. But From, it's not as nice looking. It's it's a, it's a bit Where? on on the rough side. <laughs> what? It's basically a giant metal box. So what they did was they actually took the cab from a skid, like like a um, construction equipment. Yeah. And they put it on a frame. On and a then, semi-frame. Yeah. And then built a little like metal box around where the engine and generator and all that stuff is. It looks like a yard dog. <laughs> kind of. It's similar to that. Well, yeah. No, no. So in like in um, lots or terminals, they have these, it's like a little Bob truck. That all they do is just move trailers around the yard. Yeah, they're called yard dogs. Oh, but it looks similar. It looks similar to that. Where it's just I was trying it's to think a of big a dog rectangular. That was in the shape of that. Yeah, it's like a big rectangular <laughs> box with a fifth wheel on the back, and they yeah. just move trailers around. Yep, that's kind of what it looks like. It, yeah, it actually does. Only still somehow <laughs> less pretty than a yard dog. It's yeah. more practical. <laughs> and, and that that's exactly and not the thing. aerodynamic. No. No. But <laughs> at all. Oh. But he built this specifically with like logging in mind or people who do like yeah. construction type work. P- people who don't need to drive over the road. They don't need aerodynamics. Mm-hmm. They need something that's tough. tough and, and they durable. can and they can like barrel through, you know, thick branches and stuff in a forest to like carry logs around. Mm-hmm. So he built that he built it with that in mind. Like it's just it's basically a logging truck. It's very, very simple. Um, Jen has become an imaginary friend. <laughs> yeah. Again? Son of a biscuit. So the Edison brand is a thing now. Yes. Are they going officially... to make only trucks? Uh, no. The the thaw the the thaw the the font of trucks. <laughs> the thing that really um caught my eye was I saw a YouTube video where there's a um guy he's Debos Debos Garage. D E B O S S garage. So D boss. D boss. Yes. So he's Italian. Uh, he's in Canada. Oh. Or he's French. D boss. I'm the boss. Yeah. They speak French in. Yeah. Yeah. French Canadian. Yeah. Do they? Was, yeah. un- was unaware. <laughs> you never heard it be like I'm French Canadian. You've never heard that? No. Oh. Yep. Well, great poupon. Oh gosh. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> so we're getting canceled. <laughs> Big time. Yeah, forget about Don't cancel lo- me. <laughs> for, forget about losing subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hey, if you're gonna get canceled, might as well just go all out. Right. right? So um DeBoss Garage, um 
there's a YouTube channel where they build a lot of custom stuff, apparently. Um, I've only watched like one video of this, but um, they are designing a conversion kit for pickup trucks, um, like normal, oh. like F-150s, Chevy trucks, Ooh. to where what they're going to do is they're going to take out the entire um, drivetrain of your current truck, um, assuming that you hire them, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and they will put in a small diesel generator that charges up a couple small batteries, about 60 to 90 kilowatt what? hour battery, and then they'll replace both of your axles with axles that they're designing that have electric motors built into them. This is exactly what I talked about. I think it was, was it last week I was talking about Jeep. Yeah. Jeep. The, so the, the new CEO of Jeep, is he's calling them range extenders. Right. I think where he's like, you know, we have this issue with our electric vehicles. He goes, we're still committed to it, but we need to do something that's not just full electric and go all out. Yeah. And he's, he's talking about putting small little diesel generators to charge the batteries. Yeah. So it's the same thing this guy's doing. Yeah, exactly. But you can convert your current vehicle to it. Yeah, and so like they have an image here of you know like an old Ford pickup truck. Does he put like a cost like depending on what your vehicle is or like a cost range? Uh, so it's two hundred fifty dollars to get two hundred fifty dollars. Well, to reserve it. Sign me to, up to reserve it. <laughs> oh. Dang it! <laughs> I'll convert the Crown Vic today. <laughs> it it has um. It's it varies because it depends on the options and things like that. But they do have here, um, dealership installer franchise twenty five hundred dollars. So if you want to be an installer, it will cost you twenty five hundred dollars to be an installer. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, so the price isn't released because it kind of depends on your truck and um, like every installation or every conversion is going to be a little bit different because every mm -hmm. truck is a little different. But um, they said that it's they're aiming for a price to be about a third to a half of a new vehicle or a new truck price. Oh, really? Mm. So, so it's kind of like like um, America's Most Wanted is a company that does Hemi conversions, mm. and okay. it's like thirty grand to have your engine removed. Like they'll do them in like Wranglers or right. whatever, and they'll pull out that V six and they'll drop in a, like a three ninety two Hemi nice. into a Wrangler, and so. Yeah, so they're or they're, you know a Hellcat motor, right? So, but it's like thirty thirty thousand dollars to do that. So, this so if you bought like a same. like a Jeep for forty five or fifty grand, mm -hmm. and then you do a America's Most Wanted, it's more than half that cost. This guy's saying he's going to do it for a third. Yeah, about a third, uh, one third to a half of of a price of a new truck. So, and a generator is really fuel efficient. Yeah, like you can run a generator on diesel a long time. Yeah, for like hours on like. 10 gallons or five gallons actually that would be an incredible like overland setup right because all you gotta do is bring you know a five gallon jug of diesel fuel right to keep your generator going yeah and um if you get the four by four setup it's 500 horsepower and 8,800 foot pounds awesome. of torque <laughs> i'm gonna be getting all of this edison guy right and but his you, name's not edison is it uh, he's just using that name because I of think the relation using, to yeah I think he's just using the name to try to like to to, um, to revel revel Tesla. Yeah, yeah I mean evil. if you if you look at the hat that they sell, <laughs> yeah, stealing Edi Tesla's what? Steal Edison Motors stealing Tesla's idea again, <laughs> again. Yeah, two point <laughs> Damn it, they still live on. Hey, the guy's honest, right? Yeah. He is honest. <laughs> I'm I like it. <laughs> right? Yeah. But if you go with a two-wheel drive version, so if you just want the rear or, I guess, front axle. Why would you go two-wheel drive in a truck? <laughs> I don't stupid. know. But that would be 350 horsepower, so. But, I mean, if you did that, but like. still with the, stupid amounts of torque. Yeah. I would imagine it would. It doesn't say, but I would imagine it would be, like, around 4,000 foot-pounds of torque. Like so it gets torque. more horsepower on the four-wheel drive than the two-wheel? Yeah, because there's two motors. Yeah. So one motor for Oh, I see. Axle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so. What's really, really cool, hmm, What the, a couple things that really excited me about this, though, is, you know, we talked about the Tesla turmoil, um, how the batteries got frozen and all that twice. stuff. Twice. Twice. Yes. Yeah, we yes. talked about it twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now the third time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so they have, they are talking about designing a system that makes complete sense. So they're going to use the coolant from the generator and circle it and um, use it to keep the battery warm. In oh. cold temperatures, I'm like, that's yeah. perfect. It's like, well, that's what they do for your heater core. Yeah. So 
to heat the vehicle? Yeah. So in a Tesla or an all electric vehicle, you have to use the energy that you have, you know, in the battery mm -hmm. to heat the battery and you, <laughs> the person in the car. That's but one of this, those like basic ideas, like that kid who said, let the air out of the tires. Right. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. such a like basic concept. Yeah. That people don't think about because it's too simple. Yeah. And it was so simple that it made me like, what? Yeah, duh. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, duh. <laughs> and then also, too, um, remember um, we've talked about how electric vehicles you can plug into your house and it can be a backup supply right. to your house. They're going to do the same thing. Only with this, you have a generator. It's an actual generator. Yeah. So you Designed can, to generate power. Yeah. You literally have a backup battery yeah. that can supply power to your house instantly. It's not like an electric vehicle that you're using as supplementary. Yeah. It's an actual generator designed for that. Right. That's cool. But it also has a battery. So if your power goes out, you get power instantly. Mm -hmm. And then when the battery gets low, the diesel generator that you have in your truck just fires up and keeps your house running. Edison Motors. I honestly <laughs> would love to get uh, to get a chance to drive one of these trucks around, the semi-truck. You know, and even the uh, one of, of the converted does it, ones. does it make, the one that he has? Does it say? The semi? Because if the Let's car, trend, like the... Um, the conversion the truck if it's four hundred and eight thousand foot pounds right what does his truck make let's see like so that's got to be more way yeah more. he has two of them he has an l500 and an l750 let's see i mean even it wouldn't have to be way more eight thousand foot pounds is still way more than any oh yeah current semi so the smaller one is 670 horsepower mm-hmm <laughs> And 68,400 foot pounds of torque. Get some. <laughs> That's but, awesome. But America. Get, <laughs> America. <laughs> but wait. Is Tim the Toolman Taylor the, the spokesperson? Yeah, I know. It kidding, should right? be. It should. <laughs> oh, oh, but wait. There's, There's s'more. s'more. There's s'more. <laughs> um, the L750 is a three axle truck, um, and it has 1,005 horsepower. And 102,600 foot pounds of torque. Woo. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> that is incredible. Like, just just like pull the earth, why don't you? It's like, <laughs> it, that, like those are numbers, even on the smaller one, right. small one, where people just look at you and go, why? And your only proper response is just to slap them. <laughs> Four fingers of freedom. <laughs> But yeah, that's um. So it's a very, very powerful vehicle to say the least. That is so cool. Yeah. Are they selling those? Yeah, these are actually for sale. What are they're, the they're, what are the cost of those? Uh, Does it, it have a cost? It probably is dependent upon features and things. If I had to guess, but I didn't Imagine look up. The, you've seen people do like drag racing with semis, right? Get one oh, of those the, suckers. Oh, this would murder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything. I wonder what the quarter mile time is on one of those. God, I don't know. Well, the Tesla with no load can do zero to 60 in like, what, five seconds? Yeah. Something like 5.5, wow. 5, 5, 6. Yeah. It's it's quick. It, it's as fast as my my GT Mustang was. Yeah. My GT Mustang did zero to 60 in five seconds, and a Tesla Semi can do that. That's but, cool. Yeah. I don't see a price, but, but still, though, I... I I think I watched a, a video about it, and he said that it's competitive to like a, a traditional semi. So it should be mm -hmm. roughly around that, probably like hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand dollar range. So that's not bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, shall we look for any uh, comments? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's do let's do some comment answering. I did. I saw some people that I know are subscribers, and I asked them over the last weekend. I said, "Hey, how come y'all ain't hooking us up?" <laughs> right. Not even a pity comment. I said I had to use, <laughs> so the, it was this person's brother who left the, the lizard people comment. I was oh. like, I had to use David's comment about lizard people. <laughs> That's what we had to work with. <laughs> give me something. So let's see if let's see if we have. Any. If not, I can give us a pity. Okay, 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 okay. we got two comments from two oh, different people. Yay! Oh, nice. Okay. What's funny is one of them is our self-proclaimed number one subscriber. Okay. And she wrote her comment in English. Okay. But underneath it says translate to English. What? It's in English already. Did YouTube? <laughs> YouTube drop. Uh, okay. Yeah. YouTube. Um so that one of them is a statement and a question. The other one is a statement. Okay. Okay. So Anita says, 
I just don't see electronic cars overtaking ICE cars, at least in my generation. Why is there such an obsession with it, gentlemen? Why is there such an obs- she, you, Anita, you forgot your comma. <laughs> Why is there such an why is there such an obsession with it, gentlemen? There needs to be a comma before gentlemen. So what's what yeah, so what's with the obsession with electronic cars? I think it I think uh, personally I think a lot of it's politically driven to be honest. Um with the all the going green, you know, movements and things like that. I think a lot of it is politically driven. Uh but at the same time like you know, they want to. You want to reduce pollute in the pollution in the air. You want to try to create something that's more sustainable. All that good stuff. So, realistically, I don't know. <laughs> like the technology is the technology of the electric motors and computers and all that stuff is solid. It's it's good, but the battery technology is not ready. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jen, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, she she said, "What's with the obsession, gentlemen?" But I'm going to include you. Oh, thanks. Good job, Anita. <laughs> Last episode. I know, but you're here this episode. <laughs> okay. I believe it's because the people who are saying or are talking about global warming, all that kind of stuff, and you know, want to get rid of pollution. And it's like, yes, it's great. We all agree that, you know, we want to stop the pollution because, you know, well, it gives us cancer and stuff like that. That's not really great. And we're, you know, they, they want to see a lot of things go more organic, but it's the people who scream louder. Mm-hmm. They're the ones, they're the reason why politically our government is pushing for it so hard. And to go politically into it, I believe they're getting pushed so hard because those politicians believe, I feel that they believe that if they push for it harder, that next time they'll get more votes and they'll get the popularity among those people. And which is kind of sad because they think that they're the majority and they're not. Yeah. And, and I think that's why EVs are being pushed so hard. I mean, especially the green new deal that's, you know, been, is it, did he ever push, did that ever go through? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't follow I that it. stuff. I believe it did. But, but yeah. Because cow farts follow. are dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow that too closely. But it's it's because of that, too, where somebody thinks that they can get rid of all the oil in five years yeah. and then go completely green in five years. And it's like, that's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. And that's why we have so many failures when it comes to all of these electric vehicles, because yeah. they rushed technology. They should have did it mediocre, like a little bit at a time. Yeah. Kind of like with the hybrids. Mm-hmm. They should have just went with that and then kept going on from there. Yeah. And I mean, it's great because like now we have like the that new Chinese brand. What is it called? The BYD. Yeah, BYD. And now you get like what, 700 hours or something with their batteries or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 700 yeah, with their miles. Extended miles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, miles. Sorry, 700 yeah. miles. <laughs> but it, I, I think it could be because of that. Mm-hmm. We're just mm-hmm. rushing it so much because of that. It's It's a lot of politics. A lot of people who just don't understand enough of it, who are screaming louder than the yeah. rational people, and politicians are like, "All right, I see that you this might be more popular, so I'm going to push this, so hopefully mm-hmm. I can get your votes next time." There is another side to that argument of like, you know, we are pushing, in my opinion, too quickly, or certain people are pushing too quickly towards this electric future. But you could make the argument that without pushing towards that um, that type of vehicle, without pushing towards that type of technology, n- nobody will ever do anything about it. That's so true. It needs, needs to push. How did yeah. we get to the moon? We pushed for it. Right. We were in competition. You believe we've been to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 not, we're not in conspiracy cafe Sorry. anymore. <laughs> yeah, the lights aren't on, Richard. <laughs> Thinks a big hollow ball of cheese. Come on, people. <laughs> right. He knew it. We knew it, but but without money behind it, and without the um, without the market, without people wanting it to exist, and without the money behind it to develop it, it's never going to happen. Like people are very stubborn about staying in their old ways. So there's always going to be that transition period of a new technology where where we have to deal with the crap before it gets good. That's true. Whoa. <laughs> so. 
the other side of the argument, so yes, it's not ready in my opinion, but also without pushing it, it's never really going to happen. So like electric cars have been around since like the forties. <laughs> so it's tough because it just kind of really depends on where you stand on it. But why it's such a big deal is just because people are yelling really loud about it. Yeah. At least, oh, what's your thought? Um, well, I have a very concise thought. So what's with the obsession? Mankind's getting dumber. What? <laughs> All electric cars are stupid. Mankind's getting dumber. That's why we want them. Okay, next, t- next, <laughs> next comment. Next comment. Done. Move on. That, you sound like those people who are screaming so to, loud for the electric cars. I had to bring the I had to bring the mood up a little bit. Y'all got so heavy. Man. That's true. That's true. Okay. Next comment from uh self-proclaimed number one fan, Katie. Okay. Oh no! No Jen. Aw. Translate to English. <laughs> Translate to English. What does it say? Oh no! Oh. No, Jen. <laughs> Why does it translate to? The only, the oh only, no, no, Jason. The only difference like, oh. is um, in her in her original text, she did not capitalize the J in your name. Oh, translating oh. it to English capitalizes the J. <laughs> it, so, so Google <laughs> Google gave you more respect than our self-proclaimed no, number one fan. No, that was the only no. difference. <laughs> It, it, it improved thank, in the thank, sense. Thank you, Katie. I know. I'm back. Except this camera hates me, and yeah. I might be a puppet again. That's a conspiracy in itself. That is. Just so you know, I didn't buy that camera. It's true. He did not. We we had to go kind of cheap for Jen's camera. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we spent all the money on microphones and lights. <laughs> like, for you I guys. Don't know, I don't know if you can see in, if it's in the shot or not, but if you look at Jen's table... Everything that she has. Do here. you even have a coaster? You have a coaster. She has a coaster here. Like I, if will, you look I, will, I will take chair. an. I will take an image like of if you our. See what Jen's setup is compared to ours. <laughs> it's, it's a plastic table. We should. We should do like a Chinese fire drill one time and just you know S- switch places. Switch seats. <laughs> so yeah. you can experience the good side. Wow. I don't even. I don't even know why we can close on this thought. I don't even know why we. It's called a Chinese fire drill. If you don't true. know, there was this thing. That people would would do when you get to a red light and you come to a stop, you yell Chinese fire drill and everybody gets out and runs around. When the light turns green, you just get in the nearest door. Yeah, and whoever is driving is driving at that point. That's interesting. Well, I don't yeah. know why it's called the Chinese fire drill though. I ah. have no clue. Maybe we'll have to. We'll have, have to, to look into, into that. that. Yeah, because my Another family con- never did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know. Another conspiracy cafe, maybe. Let's we'll look into that. <laughs> Well, maybe someday I'll get to have something nicer. Maybe you'll sit over here next week. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. we'll replace. I ha- I'll have to put a beard on, though. Yeah. You have to don oh. the proper attire. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're not wearing the proper attire. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. he puts the beard on me. Yeah. yeah there you are. <gasps> Much better. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll need a long wig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll need a wig in general. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Break, Hi, breakcheck.com. Like, subscribe, share, ding the bell, tell your friends about us. Let's take that exit. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Bye.